Almost every single day for the past seven years, I've put one of these things in my mouth. Definitely not trying to brag, smoking weed is legal in most places throughout the US, so saying I smoke weed nowadays is about as cool as some fucking chewing gum. Blended. But I enjoy the way I think and feel when I smoke, and it helps with the three herniated discs in my spine, so I, I fuck with it. Physical benefits aside, I've always wondered if smoking is doing my brain any favors when it comes to intelligence. I've always heard that smoking weed before your brain is fully developed is detrimental to long-term brain help. Help? Fuck. See? Is detriment? I meant health. I've heard it's detrimental to long-term brain health, and I don't really have any way to test that. I do, however, have a way to test the immediate effects weed has on your brain. I can see if it makes me stupid. The human benchmark test, right? A website with some brain games and cognitive tests and shit really gets your noggin going. A bunch of YouTubers and even some racists did it a couple years ago. You've probably seen it somewhere on the internet by now. So a couple weeks ago on my Twitch stream, I decided I was gonna test it out. See how lighten up affected my results on the benchmark test. I know these tests don't really measure stupidity or smartness as much as they do like memorization and shit, but I'm not gonna name the video, does smoking make you memorize shit better? That sucks, awful title. There's probably a better way to run this experiment. I don't know, I'm not a fucking scientist. I'm just some guy in test. Sounds like gynecologist. But okay, here's my experiment. I did the benchmark test one time completely sober and then once again after smoking a 1.5 gram joint of some gas. And I'm here today to share those results with you. So I hope you got something to light up alongside me. Let's find out if smoking makes you stupid. By the way, I do this shit Monday through Saturday on twitch.tv slash You might as well come on down, it's a good time. I'm not doing typing because it doesn't matter if I'm high or sober, I'm just not a fast typer. <laughs> like that shit is not gonna change depending on my my weed intake is still gonna be. Oh wait, that was actually way better than normal. I mean, I typed four words, but like normally I fuck up somewhere. Maybe we will do typing. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't end up doing that shit. Okay, yeah, we'll roll up. We'll, we won't smoke it. We'll just roll it up to start. Um, your friend literally just greened out. Dude, literally get friends that are, <laughs> Never mind. My friends wouldn't do that. If I had friends that were smoking with me, they wouldn't green out. I think that's the difference between our friends. I don't know. <laughs> Get friends that aren't me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Greening out sucks. Greening out is the worst. To be honest, I've never really greened out. Like I've, I've gotten so high, I've been scared and I've thrown up from hitting the bong a little too hard, but I haven't like greened out for real. Kind of happy about that, but I don't know. I feel like I'm missing out or something. You remember the Papa John's ad? Better pizza, better Papa. John, nigga, or whatever he said. I don't remember. I just remember Papa John had to take <laughs> three years, three years off his life to learn to not say the N-word. So I don't really, I don't really know. Papa John's a strange man. To be honest, pizza, not one of the best foods there are. There's so many better foods than pizza. Bro, Burgers shit on pizza, in my opinion. Wings shit on pizza. Tacos shit on pizza. Italians are cool, but like they didn't make tacos. Roll cam. For those of you that didn't ask, I appreciate you. Y'all are patient, good people. <laughs> Only fans, but it's just Chris. <laughs> High as hell saying juice box. <laughs> juice box. <laughs> Wait, I'd make money on that. Can you smoke on OnlyFans? Yeah, you definitely can. Imagine a website where you can show your butthole but not smoke weed. Y'all ready for the human benchmark test? Y'all ready to bench a human in the mark test? All right, getting into the first of the benchmark tests, we have the reaction time test. Screen is red, you click it as soon as it turns green. Simple enough, you know. Okay, that sucked. That was, that was dog ass. That, <clears throat> All right, hold on. Get faster, nigga. Come on. All right, we broke two, we broke two. Okay. Dude, I think finger placement matters quite a bit. Whoa, fun fact, fun fact. If someone, if one of you is brave enough to find the clip from last year where I straight up like 
I just anticipated, I just completely guessed, and we got some dumbass number that was way too low. Mm-hmm. You see that? I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll take 189. 74 percentile? Hey! You know? A score of 189 for sober me. Not exceptional, but above average, so I was cool with it. Oh, memorize the pattern? Next test I did sober was the okay. sequence memory test, which is just Simon Says, but a lot more stressful because I have test anxiety. Nice. I fucked it! I went way too- Nah, run that shit back. Run that shit back. Run that- That didn't count. I- I fucked it! I just- I went for the- I fucked it! I decided I deserved a redo because I didn't feel that score was like representative of me. You know, I could- I could obviously do better than that shit, especially sober, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just- let's just- let's just get to like 30 million. I forgot. Did it go back to the middle? <laughs> I don't remember. I, I wasn't paying attention. I WASN'T PAYING ATTENTION! <laughs> Bro, I look like a loser. That shit went bad, but that's okay. Because this is for science, and I know there won't be any comments telling me how stupid I am for my mistakes. So it's cool. Moving on to probably the most notorious test on this list. The chimpanzee test. The numbers 1 to 9 are randomly scattered across a touchscreen. The Christ looks at them for as long as is needed to memorize the layout. Then, as soon as one is touched, the other numbers are hidden and must now be remembered. It's called the chimpanzee test because... I don't know, monkeys did this shit one time for science, they could consistently score 10. This is fucked, bro. Look at his speed. I mean, he's getting treats. He has a treat dispenser. If I had a treat dispenser, I would work just as efficiently. So that's easy. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, yeah. Sick. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't like that one, but it's fine. That's whatever. One, two, three, four. So we got a big shape. Big little triangle with a dick at the butt. And then you go all the way up to five, six, all the way over to seven, eight, nine. All right, big triangle, dick at the butt all the way over to five. No, that wasn't six! Hold on, I gotta smoke. This is way too hard sober. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. I forgot six. I forgot which one six is. I'm not, I'm not going hard. I'm not doing it good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I forgot six! Bro. Nah, nah, hold on, hold on. I decided I deserved a redo again. That one didn't count. Are you smarter than a chimpanzee? Oh, so now we're racist. Now we're calling the black kid a monkey because he can't get past nine? Really? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's easy as fuck. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one's simple. Six, seven, eight, nine, got you. I forgot five. <laughs> I forgot five. I think that's six. Or it could be down here. Dude, I just wanna I just wanna say fuck this and smoke weed now. Because this is way easier high. I smoked I smoked a joint this morning and did this shit. And I didn't even I just breezed through the first ten. Ten was never difficult. Ten was the easiest number in the world. Yeah! Alright, let's take a breather. Let's take a breather. Because this is pissing me off. This is stressing me out now. Here's what we're gonna do. Check me out. Check me out. I got a plan. 
Yo, have y'all heard of the human bench? <clears throat> have you guys heard of the human benchmark test? So we're gonna try this shit out, right? We're gonna try out this thing. We're gonna film a YouTube video today. Um, so you see, there's a bunch of different shit. We're gonna try it one time before I smoke, and we're gonna try it one time after I smoke, right? So I kind of restarted, right? But listen, listen, hear me out. That's my fault. I don't know. I was anxious. You know, it's hard testing in front of a bunch of people. I don't normally do that shit. I attempted the sequence one once again, and that shit sucked. Where'd it go? I forgot. Uh, fuck you. I don't care. I really, I don't. I, so I don't let's just get back that. to what matters. Give me to the good one. Give me to the monkey test. All right. Where my monkeys at? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so five, and then you go six. You gotta like all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. Nice. Six. Yeah. Sick. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Scrape those off the top. Go back to one. Easy. So you gotta just one, two, three, four. Got you. Got you. Oh, it was the bottom part. My nigga, come on. Uh, oh my God. That one didn't count. Um, It was the bottom. It was the bottom. Chris, you are overthinking this, I feel. Puan, you want to go do it? You smarter than a monkey? Um, One, two, three, four, right? And then five. Nah, shut the fuck. You <laughs> These numbers. It's numbers you gotta memorize. I don't. I lose my temper. I don't know. I feel like we all do. You can tell I haven't smoked yet. All right, nah. That sounds like that sounds like a stoner version of like, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Don't talk to me until I've smoked my morning joint. That shit's gross. I apologize. One, two, drop it low. Four, five, having sex. Six out the room. Money. And then angle. Angle back. Angle up. Angle down. Angle, angle, back, angle, up, angle, down. Easy. Easy as shit. Angle, angle, back, angle. Was it up or down first? Was it up or down? Down. Fuck! A final score of 10 on the chimpanzee test sober, which is pretty fucking bad. It's, it's what the chimps were getting. I don't know, I feel like they must have had some fucking advantage. I'm a human with like a human brain and shit. I took calculus in high school. No way these dumbass creatures. Actually, never mind. The following test was the verbal memory test, which is probably the easiest one for my brain. This is easy. This is easy. Bitch Rome. <laughs> bitch Rome. Tungstens. These ugly ass words. I've seen bitch roam. I haven't seen intimidation. I've seen tungstens. I've seen intimidation. Bitch roam. Syllogistic is new. Intimidation I've seen. Tetch here. That's not a word at all. Ambitions. My ambition. Oh. Crushed new. Meiosis. A tones is new. Seen that. Seen that. Seen that. Haven't seen stoneware. Seen ambitions. Haven't seen that. Seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen that. Boning? Whoa! Snatchier. <laughs> Wait, they got the good words now. Talented is new. Bitch room. Hey, welcome back to the bitch room. Drollness. Radio, radio, yeah, 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 I've seen that. Channelize. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nah, you see they double clicked me and took a life! They cheated me! You saw that? Okay. Okay, human bitch mark test. Okay. If we give it a frame by frame run back, radio luck and see. Lucency, whatever the fuck, snuck itself in there. I don't like that word. It belongs in the bitch room, if you ask me. Broadcaster we've seen. We haven't seen Broadcaster? This is the worst day of my life, dude. You just threw for me. We were doing so well. Over apprehensive. That's a good word. That's a big word for Elmo. Whatever the fuck. Overlaid, that's me when I'm having sex all the time. Caters. Oh! That shit hurt. I wanted a hundred. I don't know, if that radio lucency didn't fuck me over back at the bitch room, things would be different. 
but 99 was still a pretty decent score for the verbal memory test, landing me in the 90th percentile, so we'll take that. After that was the number memory test, which is another one of the more self-explanatory ones. They show you some numbers and you gotta memorize those shit. That was one. I, easy as shit. 568865. 5688565. This is just memorizing phone numbers. 5688565. 13836160 Whoa, where'd that four come from, you sneaky bitch? Don't try me. 5452, 5452790954, 7909954, 7909954, 5452790954, 5452790954. 5452790954. Woo! 191-0866. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I, I lost it. I meant fuck, but F duck works too. I ended with a score of 11 for the number memory test. Moving on, the second to last test is the visual memory test. You're presented a grid, some of the squares are white, then the white fades and you have to remember the location of said whites. All right, this is the easy one. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful lineup they gave me. Woo! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I wasn't ready. I didn't know, I didn't know. Two, two, oh fuck. It goes fast. But I got it. Uh, for sure. What? Bitch! Oh, no. I was lost. I was so lost. Oh. It got hard. It got hard and fast. It got hard and fast. I want to try again. I want to try again. I lost. I lost. There's one, like, in the mix. Yeah, for sure. Fuck you. I finished with a score of 10. Apparently, that's the worst number ever. The last test I did sober was the aim trainer. Honestly, pretty different from the rest of them, but just test your aim. I'm trash. Pussy, you're trasher. I'm moving so slow. I'm moving so slow, bro. Nah, nah, my flow is off. My flow is off. We gotta start this over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run that back, run that back. My flow is off. Let me sit up straight. Bro, who is doing this where they are actually getting 1,200? Old people, because old people just love the human benchmark test. This is a geezer's favorite website. This is a mini clip. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. That's fine. Whatever. I'll take it. Yeah, I know. That's not A score of 419 wraps up the aim trainer, and that wraps up the sober portion of this test. So now watch me smoke weed in the past and make fun of British people a little bit before getting into the high portion. All right, so as you can tell, <laughs> I'm dog shit at most things when I'm sober. So now it is time. All right. That didn't focus right. We'll give it one take, one take Jake. If I fuck it up, let me put my tray under me. Y'all are so goofy. Y'all are so silly. What strain is that? This is... Chat. Y'all remember? Yeah, I remember. This is some white truffle. It's some fucking gas and it smells like peanut butter. A very happy high. I feel good, you know? Weirdest thing that's happened to you while high? See, most things happen to me I'm high during. But the craziest thing that happened while I was under the influence was getting raided by the police on acid. That was an interesting one. You finally found the clip? Wait, you can't send it in chat. No way you went- No, 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 no. Hold up, send that to a mod. Okay, that one wasn't it. That one wasn't it. Everyone else. Mm -mm. I'm average. I was average. Bro, I shit it. You like brunts? Brunts? Bro, you like brunts? 
I'm a joint guy. I'm a brand ambassador for Ra, as you could, like, you, I got a bunch of Ra shit all over. One of the rawest guys on Twitch, actually. You ever seen this shit? Thousand meters of paper, bitch. These cookies so fucking green. Bro made the greenest cookies in the world. What you mean, no, just no? Oh, that's ranch? Nigga! Wait, this is what you cook, Tess? Honey, garlic, and lemon pepper drumstick with garlic butter and chive roasted potato pre-boiled in chicken stock. Ew! Yeah! I know it's juicy. I just know it's juicy. Wait, where's the British bake? <coughs> the British bakers. We have a channel in my Discord called British Mealtime where my British viewers drop pics of their food. Sometimes while we're smoking on stream, it's fun to go through it. It just, just look at this shit, bro. Bro's eating penis and balls. Two penis, some balls, and that. That's crazy. You got the pasta way too close to the beans, my nigga. That's insane. <laughs> this is definitely me. <laughs> Chicken? Bro, is that supposed to be jerk chicken? I have never seen a chicken get jerked like that. Okay, double sausage with beans. This is the least offensive meal so far. This one we can get behind, right? Steak, rice, cause ADHD and shit. I mean, hey, shout out to steak and rice. <laughs> Does it have ADHD? You eating lettuce burgers? <laughs> Bro, you don't have to live like this. <laughs> All right, I'm properly chopper lead. I think it is half past, half past time we get on to the benchmark test. Don't wanna bench a couple more marks? After judging the queenless ones in the high setting, we moved on to phase two of finding out if smoking makes you stupid. This time starting with verbal memory, which I scored a 99 on sober. Chronic cling. No, yeah. Romet. That's like a roommate. <laughs> That's the girl version of roommate. Could we get a, could we get a, could we get a Google, a definition check on Yop? I disagree with that word completely. I felt quite a bit more focused on the words and less focused on chat this time around. Sometimes if I smoke too much on stream, I'll just forget there's a bunch of people watching me. Then when I realize it, I kind of freak out a little bit. It's, it's funny. Quadruplicate scene. Embossoming. No. Curbing scene. Wash day. Close. Uh. No! We've seen it! We've seen it! Shite! Shite! That was on 69. That's the sex number though. Heartbreak is new. <laughs> Balloonist, Moreland, Eurystics, Submergences, Mistresses, we beat sober, we beat sober me. <coughs> That's me beating the shit out of my sober self. To my surprise, I flew past my sober score and ended with a score of 129 while high. With verbal memory out of the way, I move on to number memory. Five. Oh, this one's fun. I like this one. Seven three five nine seven three seven. Seven three five nine seven three seven. Seven three five nine seven three seven. I fucked it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! One two six three eight seven six three. One two six three eight seven six three. That's easy. One two six three eight seven six three. Okay. Two four three four two zero five one five. Two four three four two zero five one five. Two three two four three four two zero five one five. Woo! I'm way less confident with my answers. I'm second guessing everything now. Eight five three one seven two three eight eight three seven. Oh, I'm done. Eight five three one seven two three eight. Eight five three one seven five three eight three seven. Yeah. Two, five. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the gas got to me, causing me to finish with a score of 10, one less than our sober score. 
saying unfortunately makes me sound biased like it makes me sound like i'm on the weeds team and i just wanted to let y'all know that i am definitely on the weeds team the third under the influence test was the reaction time test weed is notorious for fucking with your reaction time so i was excited to see how the results would vary that shit sucked hold on that was better that was better not betterer not better enough Okay, quicker, quicker. Whoa, whoa, that was way too quick. Nah, nah, I wasn't ready. And click. Okay, we're anticipating. Give me a quick one. We're going, we're going nuts. Give me like 30 seconds. <clears throat> that last one was fast. Honestly, quite an improvement, but it could just be from the outlier that was caused by the anticipation because holy shit, that one was fast, but it doesn't say my exact time and that pisses me off a little bit. 178 for the final score, making it 2-1, to one, weed in the lead. Alright, let's train this aim again. Let's aim this train. Next, I did some more aim training. Went kind of crazy this time. Oh, whoa, whoa. 405? That's faster than before. I mean, by kind of crazy, I mean I performed average as hell with 405, but it was average enough to beat my sober score. Mm, mm. Okay, we'll take the 405. We'll take the 405. That's the fastest I'm gonna get. Doesn't really surprise me here. Any FPS or third person shooter game, I feel much better at playing when I'm high. I don't know if there's like a science to that. Again, not a scientist, just a giantist. Anyway, that puts us at three points for weed and one point for sober. Returning to the visual memory, I was determined to have some improvement since this was my worst sober score. Okay. Three. How'd I miss? That's crazy. I should. I need to train my aim more. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello? I did not click there, shit lord. Watch your mouth. You should watch your man. Whatever the song says. Damn, it gets like way harder when you get to nine. Ah! Okay, and then it gives me the easiest pattern of all time. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wow. Huh? Huh? Where'd it go? Where was it? I'm shit. I'm shit, man. There's one more. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's one more. Where? Where did I put it? That's fine. Whatever. Still we'll sucked, but I sucked it a little better getting a score of 11, beating my sober 10. 4 to 1. We had to make sure I stayed at a good high, so I took a couple hits before moving on to my second attempt at the sequence Simon Says Ass test. Let me eat a mint. I feel like I'll do better than previously. Ew! Bink, bink, bink. Boom, 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 boom. Bink, 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 boom, 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 boom. Oh, it goes bink, 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 bink. Yeah! Thank you. Boom, 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 bink. Yup, nice. Bink, 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 boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, bink, bonk, fuck! Okay. I made it to level 12, shitting on my sober score by four points. At this point, it may seem like I intentionally threw when I was sober and performed worse just to make it look like I'm better at things when I'm high. I didn't do that, but I fucking should have. That would have been so much easier. All right, time to get monkey. And finally, I saved the best for last, the chimpanzee test. Are you smarter than a chimpanzee? Or whatever the hell. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. One, two, three. <laughs>
<laughs> that ain't no two. Stupid bitch. One. One major thing I noticed this time around was a lot easier for me to like visualize my memorization methods. Now, I don't know what my methods were exactly. And then just slide to the left. Five. Slide to the left. Six. Up. Time. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Okay. So this is just like the cha-cha slide. But in my brain, I could see it all better this time. Um, one, two, three, you do a triangle, and then five, angle, all the wangle. Seven and eight don't fuck with each other, nine, ten. Cool. Money. Okay. One, two, three, four. You got this weird thing at the beginning. Drop down for five, angle, all the wangle. Finish that row, ten, eleven. Got you. Cool. Cool. This is better. This is better than than last time already, right? We're already shitting on ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Angle. 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 Slide to the left. No, no, that's eleven, you stupid bitch. Classic 9-11 mix-up, huh? It was there. It was there. Damn, damn. Five is on top of it, so they're just kicking it together. One, two, three, four, five. Little gang, little group, little gaggle. Uh, and then from five, you go to six, drop down. We got a big dick. Okay, one, two, so angle, and then you finish. Go back up for the big dick. Slide to the left. Angle all the way angle. Just go up, and then you finish it off to the right. Okay, okay. Four. Big dick, eight. All the way, finish it that way, beautiful. The big dick eight strategy never fails. And then four, you go angle all the wangle, and then you just drop down, get your eagle on. And then we gotta stare up at the stars, put the beetles on, right? So it slide. To the left! No, that's five. <laughs> so a slide angle, drop down, get your eagle on, stare up at the stars, put the beetles on. Angle all the wangle. Ten. Angle, hit it from the back. Drop down, get your eagle on, stare up at the stars, put the beetles on. Right? So we got that part out of the way. That's obvious. Um, and then Beatles on. And then it was an angle. I don't remember which angle I, I threw. Hit it from, it was hit it from the back. It was hit it from the back. I didn't hit it, I hit it from the front. I hit it from the front, let a nigga bless you. That's my L. That's a my pretty L. fucking good score, honestly, but I still tried it once more. Nine. And on this ten, redo, I make it to 12. 13 without a single error. I then end up making all three errors in quick succession and finish with a score of 14, beating the piss and shit out of my sober score once again. You know what? At the end of the day, I've done worse at many things. Leaving us with a grand total of six wins for high Chris and one win for sober Chris. So final verdict, um, That's crazy. That was fun though, that was fun though. So we have now been provided all the information necessary to answer the question, does smoking make you stupid? I don't fucking know.
You know, I can tell you that me, a guy who smokes every single day, smoked a specific strain and then performed better on some cognitive tests than I did sober, but I can't really say if it'll make me stupider or not because I don't know, there's so many different weeds. If I smoked a different strain, I probably would have different results. If someone else does this test, same strain, same sober results, chances are they'll still have different high results because weed affects everyone's brain differently. You know, different strains for different brains. But yeah, it just sounds like I'm shitting on my whole experiment, which I am because it wasn't a great one, it was just fun. But just to make this video not clickbait, yeah, it made me smarter. I did perform better. Six out of the seven tests, results were improved once I smoked. I think the coolest part though, is not only does that mean I'm smarter than my sober self, I'm smarter than a chimpanzee. Anyway, that was fun, right? Thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to fucking like and subscribe. You know I'm a YouTuber now, baby. I'll have something new up for you soon. Much love, dude. Catch you later.